second day of the Royal Ascot meeting becomes a raincoat and umbrella parade as a heavy downpour brings racegoers to the course prepared for April conditions rather than flaming June and sunny skies. The royal family arrive by car from Windsor, the king having cancelled the traditional drive up a sunlit course. Fashions? Yes, they were there, but in some cases partly concealed by Macintoshes, whose multicolours added to the gay silks of the umbrellas strove desperately to recapture the atmosphere of gaiety and charm of Ascot. Boaters were to be seen, and the old firm were prepared for anything the weather liked to do. At the tapes for the main event of the day, the Royal Hunt Cup, and they're up as 20 class handicappers start the severe seven and a half furlong course. Into the straight now, with the field split into two sections. Hyperbole and Watt Tyler are on the far side, and now watch Hyperbole number five with Breezley up, spurt forward, setting up a clear lead and looking an easy winner. But no, the favourite Watt Tyler number two with champion jockey Gordon Richards now gets a clear run after early interference, and he's after Hyperbole. He tries desperately to catch up with the leader, but as we follow them to the winning post, Hyperbole wins by a head. So the valuable Hunt Cup prize goes to Mr J.B. Rank and to Australian jockey Breezley, his first winning ride at Ascot.